Hello everyone, and welcome to this video which demonstrates a simple, easy way to replicate and deploy WAF application security policies across F5's Big IP Advanced WAF, Nginx AppProtect, and F5 Distributed Cloud WAF Security Portfolio. I'm Kevin Delgadillo, Principal Product Manager at F5, and I'll be providing a high-level introduction to this solution, what it is, what problems it solves, the value that it brings, and the basics of what it does. Daniel Stokes and Michael Kennedy are technical solution architects here at F5 who put this solution together. They've created some demo videos with more technical details, which we'll walk through a bit later. Adaptive applications utilize an architectural approach that facilitates rapid and often fully automated responses to changing conditions. For example, new cyber attacks, updates to security posture, application performance degradations, or conditions across one or more infrastructure environments. Unlike the current state of many apps today that are labor-intensive to secure, deploy, and manage, adaptive apps are enabled by the collection and analysis of live application performance and security telemetry, security management policies, and advanced analytic techniques such as machine learning and automation toolchains. Two key components of F5's adaptive apps vision are to help our customers speed deployments of new apps and more rapidly detect and neutralize application security threats. In today's interconnected digital landscape, the ability to share application security policies seamlessly across data centers, public clouds, and software as a service environments has become increasingly critical. As organizations increasingly rely on a hybrid IT infrastructure, where applications and data are distributed across various cloud providers and security platforms, maintaining consistent and robust security measures becomes a challenging task. By having a consistent security policy framework, businesses can ensure that critical security policies, access controls, and threat prevention strategies are applied uniformly across all their resources. Indeed, this is fundamental in building a resilient and secure digital ecosystem across our customers' increasingly more common, diverse environments. In the spirit of enabling a unified security policy framework, this demo kit shows the following two key use cases. Replicating and deploying an F5 Big IP Advanced WAF security policy to F5 Distributed Cloud WAP, and replicating and deploying an F5 Nginx AppProtect security policy to F5 Distributed Cloud WAP. We'll also show how to use F5's Policy Supervisor and Policy Supervisor Conversion Utility to achieve these outcomes. As we've stated, this solution is designed to help our customers more easily and quickly deploy secure applications via a common set of application security capabilities. Our customers find it challenging, complex, and time-consuming to replicate, migrate, and deploy application security policies across their WAF deployments, which span the F5 portfolio within on-prem, cloud, and edge environments. However, by enforcing consistent WAF security policies across multiple clouds and SaaS environments, organizations can establish a robust and standardized security posture, ensuring comprehensive protection, simplified management, and adherence to compliance requirements. Using a consistent and centralized security policy architecture across the F5 security portfolio provides many key benefits, including the following. Reduced infrastructure complexity. Modern businesses often employ a combination of on-premises data centers, public cloud services, and SaaS applications. Managing separate security policies for each platform introduces complexity, making it challenging to ensure consistent protection and adherence to security standards. Consistent protection. A unified security policy approach guarantees consistent protection for applications and data regardless of their location. This reduces the risk of security loopholes and ensures a standardized level of security across the entire infrastructure. Improved threat response efficiency. By sharing application security policies, organizations can respond more efficiently to emerging threats. A centralized approach allows for quicker updates and patches to be applied universally strengthening the defense against new vulnerabilities. Streamlined management. Centralizing security policies simplifies the management process. IT teams can focus on maintaining a single set of policies 
reducing complexity, and ensuring a more effective and consistent security posture. And improve business agility. A unified security policy approach facilitates smoother transitions between different platforms and environments, supporting the organization's growth and scalability. At the heart of this demo kit is the Policy Supervisor tool. It's important to keep in mind that while it supports all of the possible security policy replication and deployment paths shown on the left, this demo kit is focused on demonstrating the two specific use case paths shown on the right. Here we'll show two use cases. Number one, manual Big IP Advanced WAF to F5 Distributed Cloud WAP Policy Replication and Deployment. We'll show a private Big IP AWAF deployment with a security policy blocking specific attacks, followed by a manual conversion of this Big IP AWAF policy to F5XE WAP policy using the Policy Supervisor Conversion Utility. We'll show an F5XE WAP environment without an application security policy, and then show a manual deployment of the converted Big IP AWAF security policy into F5XE WAP environment demonstrating enablement of an equivalent attack blocking capability. Similarly, number two, automated Nginx app protect to F5 distributed cloud WAP policy replication and deployment. We'll show a private Nginx app protect deployment with a security policy blocking specific attacks, followed by an automated conversion of this Nginx app protect policy to an F5 XE WAP policy using the policy supervisor tool. We'll show an F5XC WAP environment without an application security policy, and then show an automated deployment of the converted Nginx NAP security policy into the F5XC WAP environment, demonstrating enablement of an equivalent attack blocking capability. As stated, we'll show how to use F5's policy supervisor and policy supervisor conversion utility to import, convert, replicate and deploy WAF policies across the F5 security proxy portfolio. We'll show how the policy supervisor tool provides flexibility in offering both automated and manual ways to replicate and deploy your WAF policies across the F5 portfolio. Regardless of the replication and migration use case, the steps are the same, enabling a consistent and simple methodology. Now let's look at the demos. Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of migrating an F5 Big IP Advanced Web Application Firewall to F5 Distributed Cloud. For this demo, we will be using a script that simulates some undesired traffic. On the left here, we are sending that traffic to our application behind an already configured Big IP. As you can see, the traffic is rejected. Over here on the right, we have the same application configured on Distributed Cloud. Unfortunately, we have not migrated the security settings yet, so the traffic is not rejected. Let's see how we can fix that. This is the Policy Supervisor Conversion Utility. It is a standalone tool that allows us to convert firewall policy files from one F5 platform to another. This is great if you already have your policies as files as part of an infrastructure as code solution. If you do not have your policy as a file, you can either export it or stick around for a demonstration of the full policy supervisor. As you can see here, I've already set my source type to Big IP Advanced WAF and the target WAF to F5 Distributed Cloud. Also selected a file for upload. This is a Big IP Advanced WAF file exported from a Big IP. Go ahead and click the convert button and should take just a second and we can see it was successful and I can now download the results. The results are a zip file that contains a report of the conversion as well as two JSON files that are important for us today. Those JSON files contain the configuration for a distributed cloud uh, application firewall as well as a distributed cloud service policy. Let's start with the application firewall JSON file. Here I have the F5 Distributed Cloud Console open to the Web App and API Protection section, and I am currently managing app firewall objects. To make use of our JSON file, I'm going to go ahead and add an app firewall, and then click on the JSON tab here at the top. This will allow me to simply copy and paste 
that firewall configuration in as JSON. Then I simply click Save and Exit, and we have our firewall configured. The process for the service policy is very similar. We just go here under service policies, add service policy, and here we have our JSON tab again. So I will copy and paste my service policy in there, click save and exit, and now that's done. All right, let's wrap up this configuration by going to our load balancer to attach the firewall policy and the service policy. Go ahead and click manage configuration and then edit configuration so that I can scroll down here to the web application firewall setting, enable that and select the firewall we just imported. I'll scroll down here to service policies so I can apply a specified service policy, which will again be the one we just imported. And then I can click Save and Exit. And everything should be good to go. Let's hop back over to our test script to confirm. And indeed, the traffic is now rejected, just like it is over on our big IP. So there you have it. We have migrated our security settings from a big IP to distributed cloud. If you're interested in trying to automate this process, check out the sample script provided in the GitHub repository that accompanies this video. Thank you. In this segment, we shall migrate an Nginx app protect policy with policy supervisor. As it can be seen, this example stack leverages Nginx AppProtect AWS Marketplace image. Now switching to the Policy Supervisor console, we select Add Providers. Then select Nginx. We have no agents, so we add a new agent. And this token we shall use later. Switching to the console, we first get the domain name of the jump box we are using via Terraform outputs. SSH to the jump box, or the Bastion system in this case. Now we download the agent and install. As you can see, this is pulling down the required binaries. Now switching back to the browser, we grab this token. Then switching back to the CLI, we paste the token. And we try again. Third time's a charm. Now we tag the agent install. And then we create a secret for management connectivity. Let's get this right. As we can see, we're taken as AWS. Here we will use the same configuration as Nginx Config Sync, which requires root access and the public key, uh, private key as a PEM file. Now, logging into F5 Distributed Cloud, under the web and API protection, we can see the corresponding load balancer. If we select Manage, we can see that it neither has web, a web application firewall or anything but the default service policies configured. Now, switching to a local development console, we shall enable NAP via the Nginx config and commit this to our source.
now to get add comment as enabling of nap and then finally a git push now switching back to our browser of our internal github repo we can see the changes here and that the CD pipeline is running. So if we open up uh, GitLab Runner, we can see the output. And this workflow is using both Ansible and the Open API to perform the input, the conversion, and the deployment. Do a refresh on the deploy. Here we can say it's deployed. So switching back there's our enablement. Now finally, if we do a refresh in the F5 distributed cloud console and manage the load balancer as part of this demo stack. We can now see we have both the web application firewall and the Nginx service policies are configured. There's the service policy for Juice Shop as demonstrated with this stack. and the validation of the policies itself. And finally, Juice Shop. Thank you. Note there are additional resources available from F5's technical marketing team to help you better understand the capabilities of the F5 policy supervisor. For a more detailed look at the F5 policy supervisor, be sure to watch the excellent YouTube video demo and read the accompanying Dev Central article, both titled Minimizing Security Complexity, Managing Distributed WAF Policies. Both are well worth your time and consideration. Thank you for watching this demo video. Please be sure to reference the GitHub repository for documentation and additional details.